What's going on guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer. Uh, thank you guys for being here. I'm significantly more ill than I was before. Um, I have an ear infection now, which really, really sucks. Um, so if I feel a little off, not that I think I'm going to be, I, I feel good enough to record. Um, and my ear infection is less bad today than it was yesterday, but um, it might throw me off a bit. So if the episode feels a little off, not that I'm saying it's going to, I'm just saying, you know, I have an excuse. Uh, <laughs> with that said, though, um, uh, I, uh, no new, uh, <laughs> no, uh, news, I should say, on the front of, uh, updates from the devs yet. Um, not that I expect anything before next Thursday is generally when they release the update. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be a trailer, but, you know... Uh, I already talked about that in the last episode, um, where, why I think it's going to be a trailer, but it's also never a guarantee, like, um, oh, actually, hang on a second, um, does this mission Rustamilicon? Yes, it does, Rustamilicon, I should say, um, I always call him Rustamilicon, I don't know why, um, a small shadow spirit who offered an adventure to the foolish elementalist Rustamilicon, um, and personally, I talked about this, um, heavily in a previous episode but i personally think that he is the source of the uh dark courts in the world and he might be the antagonist of the upcoming update we don't i mean obviously that's speculation like it, at the end of the day i have no proof but um i i do think that um there, there's a lot of implied um elements there for one we don't know the true source of the dark courts and that's a looming threat in the story regardless but also um you know why would they say ruined the world? Uh, if we can get the Dark Spirit Shade, I'll truly show off that. Um, also, I do see a Thief Armor and a Hunter here. Um, on the low, what if we just tried to um, get the um, the Eldrin's Gratitude to the end? Because this is part of the uh, part of the puzzle for me. Uh, this is something I've been talking about a few times uh, in previous episodes. Um, it's a challenge I want to attempt before they come out with the update because um, we don't know if El uh, Eldred's Gratitude is going to get changed or not. So this might be like, we might be coming up on the end of it even being a thing that you can attempt, you know? like Because Eldred's Gratitude is easily, if not the worst item in the game. It's like among them for sure. Um, and a lot of people really don't like it. The devs might finally do something about it. And they might change it to the point to where like, it's no longer a trophy to even get it to the end at all. So we might be coming up on the end here of actually being able to uh, do it. So why not uh, attempt it? Not super hardcore or anything. Casual attempts of it. Um, as we leave, 1.6. And this is um, one of the skulls that I would like to have to make it happen. Because I have a strategy in mind. And um, getting the uh, thief armor here is like perfect for the strategy. Also, we can guarantee an Argent Moon if we wanted to. Not that I think I'm going to. We could, though. I think I'll at the very least get rid of this. And um, this, too, I think. We can easily get that back. Um, I don't want to dupe that. All of these items, I'm perfectly okay with being duped, though. So, let's see what happens. Thief Armor would be perfect. Uh, for, the, for the challenge, at least. That's fun, too. That can send me down a masterpiece path. Um, we have options in front of us, which is good. Like, there's there's build paths, and I'm seeing them. They're forming, and they're cool. Um, imagine um, the uh, the um, Hunter's Boots upgraded into the masterpiece form, but uh, two copies of it, and then I'm just dashing everywhere, killing everything instantly. We already passed up a pikeman, but if I see the pikeman again, I might consider it. And also, all this is to say we don't end up on the challenge run where we try and get Eldrin's gratitude to the end of the game. Um, anything can happen from here, basically. This is not anything I'm looking for. Nope. Uh, none of this is good either. Wait, what's this, actually? Okay, <laughs> I need to be checking for Masterpiece. Because that's, that's another build path. Um, and honestly, we could do both. That's... Mm, not on this build. It's it's cool, but I don't I don't think it's useful here. This is useful though. Okay, we have like a high and oh my god, actually, hang on a second. We have extreme incentivization to um, dash. Uh, I actually do want this 
uh, thing, but I don't know how I get it. I think we'll just look for it again in a future shot, but this is turning into a very interesting dash run. Already, we all already almost have chase four, actually. But we have extreme incentivization to chase, uh, dash. And also, that's actually not even bad with the, um, with like a run where I'm trying not to take a bunch of damage, because dashing is a way to avoid damage. So we can even like build on the idea we were already on, where we try and get Eldred's gratitude to the end of the game. Um, though I'm, it, here's the thing though, um, the more this run turns into an insane dash run, the more I'm like deciding if I see something that builds in that direction in the chest and Eldred's gratitude is also in the chest, I probably will not take Eldred's gratitude because, um, we're on a very interesting dash run right now. And, uh, <laughs> like I'd be a fool to pass up the opportunity if I'm given like say main of the beast king, if that's in there, one thousand percent take that i don't give a shit okay i will like we'll never get elder it's gratitude to the end of the game it don't matter to me <laughs> this is way cooler than that but you know that's all uh we'll find out once we uh, beat yggdrasil here uh just dash into him screw it right um it's kind of hard to hit him with the dash uh or with the uh boots the hunter's boots um he has to be like bobbing in his animation and be close to the ground also if we're trying not to take damage we're doing a very poor job of it right now like i need to get into that mood of uh actually trying to uh play the game and be good at it <laughs> crazy stuff i know but you know uh, I, I gotta do something here all right give me some good stuff please i don't even see eldrin's gratitude Oh, wait, there it is. Yeah, what am I saying? It's right there. All right, let's take it. We're going to try, guys. We're going to try. So moving forward, I'm in extreme, um, uh, like, doing my best to avoid taking damage mode. Um, so I'm going to be playing like an absolute wuss. Uh, it is what it is. We're not getting anywhere near any enemies. Um, dashing like crazy as well. Uh, also, watch out for these guys because they can deal damage across the map. Like the... Uh, the bell that they uh, that they uh, use can hit you very far away. <laughs> it's kind of like a less BS version of the Act 4 anime. Alright, that's a good first room. Uh, anything can happen moving forward, though. We have to be very careful about traps. I think if anything's going to deal damage to me in this run, it's going to be traps. Also, maybe I shouldn't have summoned her. Watch out for this guy, too. They can deal uh, a lot of damage to you. Also, this can hit me in bs ways okay good stuff um i think i would ooh, oh, oh hoo -hoo. i think i would take sylphid wings um, if i was offered it because it allows me to dash even more and if we're avoiding damage dashing is going to be very good also it appears we have low rolled our doors kind of unfortunate but uh oh my god okay one thousand percent take that um that's an extremely good dash item secretly it's like you don't look at it and think it's a dash item, but it is on the low. Very good pick up there. Um, I did say I would take a dwarf if I saw it. However, I don't think I can do that right now because... Um, I don't know. We're kind of building in a direction that's different from what I envisioned this run would look like. We're, we're going dash. <laughs> and honestly, I'm thinking I might even go um, a little masterpiece too. I don't know, man. So far, so good though. This is crazy. This is a very interesting way to uh, build this run that I've been thinking about for a long time. And this is not how I envisioned it, like even slightly. Also, beautiful uh, use of the Hunter's Boots there. The real challenge is going to be once I get to the bosses. Um, like, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, 1000%. Um, okay, so uh, the dash uh, parry here, I actually think is going to be quite useful. This is interesting, guys. Even if we break the Eldred's Gratitude, like if we miss the uh, challenge attempt, um, we're still on a very cool and interesting run regardless. Like, this is a very interesting dash run. I'll also potentially also be looking for the Pikeman. I might even get off of the, the Hunter here, honestly, because it's like I'm kind of moving away from that. I don't know. We'll see. I shouldn't get too crazy. Oh, okay. Um, swapping does nothing. I need to remember that, um, because I still take damage on the Eldrin's Gratitude if I swap, so I can't do my usual shtick of swap to avoid damage. Um, I gotta actually play the game, and I gotta play it well. <laughs> okay, good. Got to her. That's important. 
or she's still alive, but she won't be for long. All right, watch out for this guy. Just absolutely do my best to avoid damage. Dude, we're it's off to a decent start here. Obviously, we're still early in anything. Okay, that is one of the skulls I said I would take. But it doesn't have the ability I want. I think I'll just break it for shards, honestly. And I'm not going to commit to the hunter yet, actually. Or actually, yes, I will. I will commit to the hunter. Uh, I still think it's a good choice. Sorry, I wanted to uh, enjoy some tea there. If you heard like a scrape against the mic, that was my stupid cord got in the way. My bad. Is that multi-shot? Oh, that yeah, it is multi-shot. Okay, good. No siege shot, so we're actually doing very well here. Um, this is a dangerous room. I got to play it very carefully. Because you could take a lot of damage here. And I can actually maybe cheese it a little bit like this. <laughs> Look at this. This is dumb as fuck. All right, let's uh, wait for this. All right, that's one way to beat that room. <laughs> Dude, on the low, maybe this was always the path. Maybe this was always the way to go, and I just never saw it until now. Um, this is a very interesting way to avoid taking damage, for sure. Dude, this is... Oh, man, I'm actually really excited. I shouldn't get too excited, because, like, in Skull, you can lose... You can take a bunch of damage in, like, a heartbeat and lose all of your progress, and, like, we could lose the Eldritch Gratitude in, like, a matter of seconds. But, um... I don't know. Even Like I said, even if we lose the challenge, this is just a cool run anyway. Also, I will take that. That's Masterpiece. Uh, no. Um, I can't refresh here and afford anything reasonable, so let's just move along. Um, definitely not taking a Tackle Dash or, like, the Minotaur. That would be a fool. A fool. A foolish thing to do. <laughs> that would be a fool. I mean, it would be a fool. I would be a fool to do it. I uh, don't know why that sentence came out that way. It's the illness, guys. I got. I can just blame everything on being sick, dude. It's, it's awesome. It's the only perk of being sick constantly for the last month. Like, literally, just endless sickness. But now my nephew's on winter break, so hopefully <laughs> I'm not, I, I have a little bit of a breather here. Oh my god, this is a great way to play Skull. We're just cruising, man. No. Um, we're mostly physical. I don't see myself going too mixed. Obviously, I'll take a Fulgent Dawn if I see it. But, um... Like, I remember earlier in the run, I was a little disappointed that I duplicated the, um, the Hunter's Boots. But I actually think it was the best thing that could have happened to me. And I just didn't realize it. Also, I am going to summon these guys. Because, like, I don't know. Like, I'm not really worried about taking the damage. I just kind of want the money, honestly. We did low roll our doors, which is a problem. Um, it's going to affect the run somewhat. So far, it hasn't been too bad. And it, it honestly makes it easier to avoid taking damage. So I guess it's not the end of the world. But we would like to, um, to I don't know, like uh, uh, have more resources. Also, this is the real first true test of how well I can avoid taking damage. I'm pretty good at fighting the Liana sisters, but normally I'm not trying to do hitless uh, fights against them. So I guess we'll see how truly good I am against them. I know their attacks very well. This is a great uh, first attack. That was also a good decision there on my part. I gotta be careful about how often I use my abilities because this is definitely a basic attack focused run. Um, abilities lock me in place and that's not good. I almost took damage there. Um, I was about to uh, use my uh, stationary shot. That's a good uh, uh, attack for them to use because it um, they're not fast when they're doing this. All right. We did that without taking damage. Let's see if we can do this. If I can get past um, the Leona sisters, I feel pretty good about my odds, potentially. All right. Um, here's... Something I'm always telling people. Um, oh man, we actually almost just took a bunch of uh, damage there. Um, try and get out of a fight as quickly as possible. The longer you fight a boss, the more time they have to screw you over. So, um, if you can get out quickly, do it. And we... Okay. Alright, guys. <laughs> we still have the full shield on this thing. Obviously, don't get too excited. But um, we're, we're kind of doing it. Let's see what we get here. Oh, no shot.
Okay, actually, I have a choice here. Crown of Thorns, I... Okay, it's Masterpiece. Hear me out here. I know that's Fulgent Dawn. I actually think this is better. I'm taking the Crown of Thorns. I'm sorry. Um, I think it's better. Uh, and, you know, maybe, uh, maybe, my, uh, maybe I'm wrong. But I feel very confident about that. Um, we have plenty of other chances to get a, a rare item. Uh, we do not have as many opportunities to get a uh, crown of thorns, which is masterpiece on this run where I'm definitely going masterpiece. Um, so yeah, that's my decision. Um, I stand by it. I guess we'll see what how the run plays out moving forward. But like, even if I lose the um, like I've said this a million times at this point, but even if I lose the challenge run we're on, um, like there's still a very interesting run to be had here. Like nothing's gonna change that. But I really want to keep this um, this till the end. Also, God, we're so close. If we can get Hunter's Boots um, uh, upgraded with Masterpiece, dude, we're, rooms are going to be nothing. Like, they're going to be free. Also, I'm definitely going to uh, break this out just so we can um, have that. I also think I have an opportunity to get rid of this coming up. Uh, we're not using our basic attacks, so we're really not getting any value out of that currently. Though things could change. Using my basic attacks isn't bad. Like, it's it's just I haven't had much of a reason to, thanks to the Hunter's Boots. Just keep my distance. That's the whole point of this whole run, is just stay as far away from all enemies as, as far as you possibly can. Respect them at all times. It doesn't matter what it is, from the smallest Carleon recruit to the largest ogre. They're all dangerous, and I want nothing to do with any of them. Rockstar, no thank you. All right. Um, that's a good quint. I'm going to keep my eye on that. But what we're looking for here is Masterpiece. Not yet. One more. Uh, I'll take the Flame Dragon, actually. Uh, we'll make sure we get something out of that shop, right? Like I think that's the right thing to do. Because this is a really good quintessence. It's going to be very helpful. Though we're looking for Orc. This is a run where I will 100% not deny the Orc if it's offered to me. Like, I'm not crazy. <laughs> uh, I, I know it's great. Also, let's try and stop this from happening. All right, good. Uh, Act 3 Adventurers are going to be a big, big hurdle for not taking damage. We'll see what happens. Um, will he deal... No, he'll, he deal, he'll does damage to your direct HP, so we're good there. We can free the remaining one. See what he has. Um, I can't imagine anything I would want, though. I guess we could get rid of the hunter. <laughs> I mean, we could. Um, we're not using it, really. Like, this This is like, this could be any skull, basically, currently. Werewolf would be pretty good, actually. I might take a werewolf if it's in here. That is another rock star. Let's do this, actually. Good stuff. Oh, we're also not using the Crown of Thorn, are we? Um, maybe the Crown of Thorn isn't as good as I think. Or maybe I should just be basic attacking more. We'll see. Um, let's see how this fight goes. We might lose it here. We'll see. Like, no Cleric, but these are not exactly fun adventures to be fighting all at once. Watch out for that. Watch out for his ult. Don't let him out of your peripheral. So far, so good. Okay, he's he shot the wrong way, which is really good for me. Alright. Almost. Dude, this, this is going so well. This is crazy. Oh, okay. Whew. Oh, dude, we kept it. We kept it. We still haven't taken a single bit of... Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, guys. So here's the thing now, right? Hang on a second. Tea break. I needed it. If if we activate this orc, we're going to be doing crazy damage. But the problem is, if we take even an ounce of damage, we'll probably instantly lose this. So we're a bit risky moving forward. But I still think it's the right decision. Uh, we just have to keep playing the way we have been. Let's, let's 
keep it going. Watch out for these guys. These guys are super dangerous. Ah! Just respect the hell out of them. Alright, good stuff. We're still going! Uh, we're almost done building our skulls as well. Also, maybe I should bring out the champion a little bit here. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be min-maxing either. Watch out for traps. Uh, this is going to be a scary room to get through, actually. I need to actually <laughs> uh, take this last segment seriously, which I almost never do. Also, take these guys extremely seriously. Um, I think this is the last enemy. Alright, so this is the segment. I was actually thinking about this segment when I was envisioning this run. This is a really hard segment to get through without taking damage. And we did it! Let's go! Oh, sh Okay, that's just- that's just rude. Not that I care. Oh, there it is! Masterpiece! Um... I mean... I think it's time, right? It's definitely time. Um, though I guess we could get rid of one of these. We're not using our ability, so I could get rid of this, actually. The Great Sage's time, I'm not super interested in. This could actually maybe be decent. I'm not really using my crits either, though. Um. I'm not using my abilities. I think I could get rid of the Great Sage's time. I don't feel too bad about that, actually. Um, I guess we're moving forward, but here's where it gets crazy, guys. Oh, man, I didn't mean to take that, actually. Um, we don't need that anymore, but look at this. Like, we're hitting every enemy on the screen, essentially, whenever we're dashing, and, in, like, there's nothing they can do about it. Um, bosses are still going to be a problem, but rooms are almost completely nullified at this point. Like, we don't even have to think about them. We don't want a Warlock. I would maybe even consider still swapping off of the hunter if I was offered something that was, like, satisfying. We're just going to leave uh, all of them in the pit. We're not even going down in there. <laughs> we have the hunter's boots upgraded. Uh, duplicated as well, so. Like, they're nothing down there. They're vermin. We don't need them. One item I would 100% take, because we're still low on damage percent, and that's going to be a problem. I would take a, um, what's it called? Uh, um, rear Blast. Also, here's another, I always keep saying this, but um, here's another real test for the run. Um, we actually have to fight the Chimera here. We can't just rely on dashing. So, let's try and do this. I'm nervous. Let's swap here. Uh, make sure to time this. So far, so good. <laughs> it's it's happening. Okay, Act Four is still a thing, though. Okay, Act Four is still a thing. Um, nothing's guaranteed at all, even slightly. This doesn't matter. Um, it is masterpiece, but it doesn't matter. This is good because we're. Oh man, this is actually really good. Let's take it. For once, I'm actually happy to take this. And we can even... Actually, let's get... No, we, still, we can still get Fulgent on, actually. Um, let's hold out for a little bit of Fulgent on Copium. I can get rid of this at this point, I think. We're not using it. Not really. Though I guess it would slap pretty hard if... And eh, let's get rid of... No Fulgent on for me. I don't care. <laughs> we don't need it. This is crazy, guys. This run's turning out way, way different than I ever could have expected. But, um, it's going very well, to say the least. Um, once we get the Forbidden Sword Awakened, that's going to make it even crazier. Um, we're very close, too. So, <laughs> this is, wow. Okay, let's not get too excited, though. Like I said, it can all fall apart in an instant. Um, and also, we still have to get through, uh, what, uh, Joan. <laughs> Joan's really hard to get hitless on so and then there's the problem with the first hero who i've actually still to this day never uh, hit list not that i don't think i can i just never try uh there goes literally every enemy like i said <laughs> rooms are almost a joke we don't have to really consider them at all let's swap here actually this is going absolutely off the rails also, why there, I've never noticed how many waves of enemies there are on this map. 
Um, this is the an easy segment. You don't have to worry about it, really. I would be shocked if I took my first instance of damage there. Uh, so, low rolling our doors has actually been very, very, very helpful on this run. Now that we're like pretty much built and like there's not a lot of room to grow, low rolling our doors is actually extremely good. Also, oh my god, we're destroying literally everything. What is happening on this run? This is actually getting a little out of control, much more than I even would have uh, thought it would be, frankly. This is kind of getting wild. Um, what am I looking for? I don't know. What do I want? We can't even get Fulgent done anymore. This is good. Oh man, this is actually really good. Um, we don't really need the Thief Armor. I keep saying that, but it's true. We don't need it. But Warrior's Pauldrons, a very, uh, this item you will not see me take very often. But on this run in particular, Pretty dang good. Let's take it. Just further avoid damage at all costs. Um, even though we're not really struggling with it. Anyways. Oh, crap. Okay, hopefully I didn't show up in the video. Um, a friend messaged me on Steam. Hopefully they don't do it again. Um, but uh, it's not a big deal. Um, gotta get my hand in the game. I can't get distracted. Now is not the we're in like we're 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 climbing the mountain. We're almost at the peak. Like we gotta see this through now. We also have brawl all of a sudden. I don't know how useful it is. Also, let's avoid um, taking damage to orbs. Also, let's do this for let's let's actually use our abilities for once. We can actually utilize it pretty effectively there. Also, I'm not going to mid max here. I'm actually for once not going to go up there and uh, summon those guys. I'm going to actually do the strat where we skip a fight. <laughs> Excuse me, by the way. Um, so um, the act. I keep saying this. I keep saying uh, we're going to hit like there's a. a the first real test of the run is coming up, but like the act for adventure, depending on who we get, it's going to be sink or swim, basically. Um, I honestly think I least want to see the um, the warrior. So hopefully he doesn't show up, but um, he may very well. Who knows? If he does, um, good luck to me. Watch out for orbs. How is this run so insanely good? I, we'll have to see how it performs against bosses that aren't Chimera. Because Chimera, we obviously did well against her. But um, she's just one boss. And, um, you know, the, the boss HP scaling kind of gets out of control the later you get into the game. So she does not have even close to as much HP as uh, Joan. And then Joan compared to the first hero is also pretty... <laughs> it's like the, the first hero is beefy. Um, we don't even need to use that. Alright, who is it? It could be the warrior. Okay, it's the archer. She's pretty scary too, honestly. Just respect her, stay away from her. Okay. I My uh, parry dash actually saved me there. Alright. This is actually pretty good. Um, this attack is not super hard to dodge. The real scary- OH NO! Okay, we took damage, we took damage. We have 15 HP left on our- It's still there, it's- we have 5 HP. Okay, let's get out of here. Follow my own rules. Okay, we still have it, we still have it. Only 5 HP left though. Oh my god, that's so bad. Oh, we were- we were- we were riding so high. We were doing so well. Um, uh, But we still have it. That's the thing. We still have it. So the run is not dead, but um, one more hit, we're, we're, we're toast. Like, we can't take it to the end. But I will say, for a first attempt, this is really, really good. And I've not even... If I lose from here, I'm fine. I'll be sad, but it is what it is. Like, we, we put in our best effort. So let's uh, not die stupidly here, or lose it stupidly here, I should say. This run's not in any danger of dying, which is in danger of... Uh, 
Losing the thing. Oh my god, we kept it. All right, let's fight them from down here. Cheating. I'll cheat all day long, baby. I don't care. Good stuff. All right, we're out of here. With uh, it still intact, if we can even make it to Joan with this still intact, I'll be so happy. What are we looking for in terms of items? Um, certainly, we'll still be looking for... Um, like a clone clone. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Just an arrow out of the sky. Couldn't see it coming. Um, so that sucks, but it is what it is. Um, this run is still absolutely insane. Um, now we can kind of chillax a little bit, I suppose. We don't have to be as uh, wild with it. Um, hmm. I mean, we have a free item slot now. I can even get rid of this, and I will. I don't want it. Um... Man, I'm sad. I'm actually really sad that we lost that, but it's fine. Uh, let's try and find some really cool items to uh, make this run truly, absolutely ridiculous from here, though. Like, we could still end this run on a very high note by having a crazy run. There's that if we want it again, but I don't know if I want it again. I'd rather have a better Masterpiece item. That's not it. Um, I mean, I guess I'll just take an item room. We're minus one item now. Actually, uh... What did I buy in there? I remember buying something. I bought this. Okay, so we can even go a little bit of strike action here. Um, I mean, I, am I ever going to get another attempt that was as good and, and like possible as this for getting the Eldritch Gratitude to the end? The Act 4 Adventure was just so crazy. Um, maybe even, maybe she was like one of the worst ones we could have gotten. I don't know. Um, they're all pretty bad except for the Thief. But he's kind of hard to avoid taking damage against, I guess. The good thing about the thief is he has like no um he has no uh ability to um like he has no hp i mean so um like if you're trying to um like uh keep not take damage against him it's pretty easy because you would just get out of the fight very quickly sorry i'm thrown off i'm actually really upset about losing that but it's fine uh, I, I felt like we were, we were like, on track to get it, though. It, like, we didn't even use the strategy I had planned to at first. Like, we saw the thief armor, and, um, uh, that was, like, where I was, like, that was, like, the Eureka moment where I was, like, oh, yeah, we could totally do this now. But then it, it just ended up being so much different than I ever imagined. But, honestly, Hunter's Boots and just dashing and, like, avoiding damage in general like that seems really, uh, if you're going to try and attempt this challenge... That seems like a great way to do it. Now we're taking all kinds of damage just because I don't care anymore. <laughs> Sorry, I had to cough. I've been holding them back this whole time. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Um, No pikemen, sadly, but we can, we can do maybe some strike dash shenanigans here. We're almost to strike four. Oh no, we're not actually. Oh, this doesn't have strike on it? Oh my god, that's so whack. <laughs> That's another one of those. I, I forgot. I complained about this in my tier list. It's another one of those. Um, oh God! What do we? We what do we use there? We couldn't possibly put uh, strike on it. That'd be too good. Just put chase or just put heritage on it. Yeah, just put heritage. That makes sense. When it, in reality, it's just it's complete and utter nonsense. Oh, by the way, um, if you notice the mithril armor, um, not giving me stat boosts. We're on this insane chase run. Um, where we're doing all of our damage through dashing. But Mithra Armor, not working. I wonder why. I wonder why that's the case. If you want to hear more of me uh, really get mad about it, watch my tier list <laughs> for the items. Because I go into it pretty in-depth there. But Mithra Armor is a terrible item. Just, just awful, really. It's just not good in any way, shape, or form. In fact, if I can get rid of it, because we do have Chase 5, if I can find a way to get rid of it, I will. All right. Um, God, dude, let's see how, let's try and do this hit list, actually. Let's give it our best effort to see if we could have gotten through Joan if we were still, like, going all in on trying to avoid taking damage. Maybe I'll even go for the hit list first hero in this video, just to kind of keep the theme going, you know? It's a what, it's a what if Berenstein universe where we actually didn't screw up and, uh, take a bunch of damage against the, uh, the adventurer. The only way we can actually activate our Mithril Armor at all is through the Parry Dash. 
Okay, we're stuck in this corner. We would have taken 21 there, so let's assume we didn't take a bunch of damage. We would have still had it here. Um, we would have been at 19. But also, I probably would have maybe been a little more careful in a scenario where I still had it. Um, I'd like to think I would have been. Did we take anything there? Um, maybe I'm not being careful enough here. Like, I have to pretend like I still have the uh, thing here. So let's start playing a little more careful. Here's where it really starts. Everything, all the damage I took before now didn't count. Okay, guys? Now it truly begins. Okay, we're small here. Like I said this about Champion. It's like his secret power is that he's small and can avoid um, uh, big, like, uh, damage dealing stuff. Um, what is she doing here? Okay. Um, I think... I think we would have gotten out of there with, with it um, intact. Though, I also wasn't being as careful as I should have been, so I don't know. Um, I've been even more careful if we still had the, uh, the item. Also, these are terrible uh, prizes for being Joan. None of these are good. Um, I'll just break a unique, I guess. But uh, that's disappointing. Not that I really... There's nothing in... I was also trying to do my usual thing where I go up underneath it. I'm going to do it. I've, I've, uh, I've kind of uh, gotten myself in the mood to do it. It's been a while since I... I used to do that in every video. And I haven't done it in forever. So we'll, we'll do a little throwback there. Uh, so... <clears throat> Going to really try for the hitless first hero. I'm going to do my absolute best. I'm getting my head in the game. Um, the way it was before I uh, lost my Eldritch Gratitude. Um, going to do my best here. Because I've like we would get the achievement live on uh, the video. I've never done it. This is a run where I could very much do it and do it pretty well. We have plenty of ways to deal damage to the first hero without directly attacking him. This could be pretty good actually. Because I could do a lot of dashes in the air and uh, kind of do it like that. But I guess I have less control in that sense. Um, this is Masterpiece, technically. Although, I can't really apply poison consistently, so let's not. Let's not. I, also, I can take this to the first hero. I know for a fact I can do that. But actually, it doesn't matter. We don't need that uh, buff. So Let's look a little bit here, see if we can find something cool. That's not cool. I'm not a fan of that item. This is cool. Uh oh, so but this is cool too. Um. Hmm. Let's see. What's our damage percent? Oh, mm, yeah, actually, this is probably better. Get rid of the mithril armor, like I said. Terrible item. Zero. It's like F tier. I should have put it in F tier. Really. I put it in D tier, I think, but it belongs in F. Terrible item. Absolute. Just trash. Um, oh, I didn't take a picture of my kit. I'm really thrown off this episode, huh? Just because after I lost the Elder's Gratitude, my, my, uh, my, like, focus just went away. But, um, we got it there. I took the screenshot there. My kit is incredible. This is an absolutely ridiculous run. Honestly, <laughs> it's just... The, the fact that this run is happening at all is just insanely hilarious to me. Um, we, we, it was a really good effort to uh, try and get Eldritch Gratitude to the end. And I'll probably attempt it again before uh, the new update drops. And I'm kind of on the low hoping that they maybe don't touch Eldritch Gratitude so I can keep attempting it. But uh, I have a feeling that Eldritch Gratitude, like surely to God, the least liked item pretty much in the game universally, is going to get changed. Like... It, it's kind of insane that it hasn't already. Um, so yeah, let's get on to the first hero here. Gonna do my absolute best to avoid damage, but um, I guess we'll just have to see how it goes. I'm not super confident about avoiding damage. Obviously, we're gonna beat him. This run's just absurd, but I just don't know if we're going to be able to avoid taking damage. Only time will tell, so we might as well get on in there and see how it goes. Alrighty. Um, going to keep my distance, pretty much. That's the name of the game here. Just stay as far away from him as humanly possible. Probably should also swap into Hunter, but I guess we can, um, we can stay out as, uh, the champion to try and, um, like, 
uh, catch him with uh, the slowdown ability. It's always like, I, I said this earlier, it's always a matter of like trying to get through the fight as quickly as possible. So you, um, also let's time slow down here. Um, can we do this? I don't think so. Yeah, he's, he's going to get his ult off, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so far, hitless. Honestly, I'm much more confident in phase two of, of not taking damage than I am in phase one. So if we can get through this without taking any damage, I actually think we can do this. Mm, there it goes. God dang it. <laughs> oh my god, I was so close. Uh, dude, we were... Aw, oh man, that's so unfortunate. Dude, all we had to do was get through that. That's all we had to do. That's all we had to do. Because we can... I, okay, well... I'm not trying anymore. Let's, okay, let's try from here. Um, I, let's assume I was trying to still not take damage from the beginning. I think we can do this. Okay, well, we took damage there, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Maybe I'm just bad. <laughs> God dang it. I'm coming to the realization that I suck. All good, though. Uh, this run was insane. Very fun. Um, like, how can I be mad? This run was just cool. Like, this is just a very cool run. Another uh, Masterpiece run. It's been a while since we've done... Or not been a while, but... Um, uh, focusing Masterpiece is kind of hard to do, generally. Uh, especially if you can't get the uh, the Clone Clone or the Princess Box. Um, it comes a lot harder to just truly focus on uh, Masterpiece. But, I mean, this was a great example of, like, scaling your Masterpiece without those, like, ridiculous items. And honestly, like, we're low damage percent here. Like... This is not a high damage percent run, and it still popped off hard. So I guess, you know, maybe damage percent isn't always the supreme ruler. Crit percent kind of is too, honestly. All right, so for victory screen here, I don't have a lot of options. I do have one that I could do. I did it! Yo, yo, no, shot! Oh my god, it's so good! I thought I I thought I maybe got the, um, the orc in the windscreen too, but that was, that was okay. I'm not washed, guys. Sometimes I'm good, okay? Sometimes my windscreens are are go hard. You can kind of see his tail here. That's his tail, but we I was hoping he would like we'd get him in full view there, honestly. But yeah, that's actually that's a not a very easy uh windscreen to pull off because you have to perfectly time that click. The uh, attack. Whatever your attack button is, you have to perfectly time it. Uh it's not easy to do. But we did it. GG's man. Um It's just unfortunate that we uh for one, didn't get the Hitless first hero, and also we didn't get Eldritch Gratitude to the end. But I still think it was a very good effort. We took the uh, Eldritch Gratitude all the way to Act Three, Part Two, or Act Four, Part Two. We didn't take a single itty bitty point of damage all the way from Act Two to Act Four uh, to the Adventurer. That's when it fell apart. But like I said, very good effort. I'm very, re I'm very ready to take this on again in the future. Um, and also the run itself was just really, really, really cool. Like double hunter's boots, or I don't know what they're actually called when they're upgraded, but double upgraded hunter's boots. You can't really go wrong with it. It's very powerful. Um, even the single version of this is good, but if you can duplicate this, like rooms are nothing anymore. <laughs> like rooms just melt. Um, we Did we have chase four? Or did I get, oh yeah, I got rid of the uh, the stupid mithril armor uh thank god i did that we got rid of our awkward chase four by the end and also uh main of the beast king didn't get to use it um not really because i wasn't using my basics at all this was just a completely dash build and also we barely used the uh bloody crown of thorns too this was just all damage from like this 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 occasionally we punched um but mostly this this and this um good stuff man what an excellent example of just skull being wild like, why this game is still so fun to me after all this time playing it. It just runs like this. Also, almost sub-30. This was a very fast run, too. Uh, everything just went super well. And I had so much fun, despite the uh, the the not getting my fat dub that I uh, was trying so hard to get. But we still got we got a dub anyway. It's just not a fat dub. It's like a, a mild dub. But still a dub, nonetheless. And I had fun. That's the real dub. And I hope you guys had fun as well. Um, I appreciate you guys. 
still um, trying to get over this illness. Hopefully it's the last time I'm sick for at least like <laughs> uh, two weeks when my nephew goes back to school and then we get sick again. <laughs> uh, it is what it is though. Life, uh, I guess that's just life. So um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.